So we are right at our icebreaker questions. If you're just tuning in, thank you. You are tuning in to Miss Be Inspired Soapbox with your host, Miss Be Inspired. And you're tuned in to Be Inspired Global Network right here on Facebook Live. I want you to like and share this video and also like and share our page, Be Inspired Global on Facebook. And we're joined tonight with our very special guest, Monica McQueen. And so what we're getting ready to do is do some icebreaker questions so you all can get to know her a little bit more before we talk about some of the heavy stuff later on in the show, but it's still gonna be great. So Monica, (laughs) let's get into it. So what, okay. what do you like to eat? What's your favorite food? Man, that's a good question. Uh, I'm definitely a foodie. Um, both of my parents have roots in the Carolinas. And so um, I love Southern food. Um, I love everything about it. Um, I try not to have too, too much about it, too much of it, you know, just trying to be health conscious. Uh, but at, out, outside of that, I really love the seafood. Like, Ooh. I love seafood. I think the only thing I really don't like in seafood is like lobster or mussels and oysters. I can really get with them. Yeah. But the rest of the seafood family, we're cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I could eat shrimp and crabs all day long, I, I would if I could. Um, but I love soul food. I love seafood. Um, I love breakfast food, too. So that's uh, another thing that I to do to eat uh, waffles, pancakes, um, probably all the things that I really shouldn't be eating, um, but I like them anyways. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I mean, I do know a few people who don't like fried chicken, but hey, to each each own. To each own. I'm trying to do better within my lifestyle that works best for me. But uh, yeah, I, I used to eat the chicken. (laughs) <laughs> well, honey child, I still do. Now, I don't eat beef and pork, but I love a good piece of chicken. <laughs> and I love a good piece of turkey here and there. <laughs> if you could, if the COVID, you know, wasn't doing what it was doing right now, mm-hmm. what would be your dream vacation? It's traveling South Africa. I would love to travel. I, I mean, I don't know how long it would take to travel the entire South Africa. Africa. Um, but however long it's supposed to take, that's what I want to do. Um, and that's something that me and two friends were talking about last year, uh, was planning a trip to go to Africa. Um, and if it wasn't Africa, then it was to go to Europe and visit France and you know Paris and everything like that. Um, just to kind of see a different perspective outside of America. Really good choice. So I actually just came back from South Africa right before, like literally the really? day before. Yeah, literally the day before travel was really banned internationally. Mm-hmm. I came in. I came in on the plane the day before, but I spent about two weeks in South Africa. And yeah. very good choice. Very good choice. You'll love mm-hmm. it. So, what is your go-to clothing item for the summer? to either a maxi dress or um, a long flowing skirt with a nice top, uh, but mostly it's maxi dresses during the summer for me. Ooh, all right, and one last question. What can you not leave the house without? One item that you can't, (laughs) you just can't leave out the house without it. My phone. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably like everybody's, some people. Um, I think it's, for me, it's my phone. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said earlier, I, I serve in so many different capacities um, that if I don't have my phone, I can miss out on some very important information. Yeah. If someone's trying to get in contact with me, um, if I need to put a fire out at work or, you know, whatever the case is, um, or if I need to get in contact with somebody, you know, it, it's my phone. Like, I, I remember a few times I've left the house without it and I'm like, something's missing. And I'm like, my phone. <laughs> so I, I can't leave my house without my phone. I, I like it's so it's so part of us now that if you don't have right. it, it's like, like wait a minute, something just doesn't feel right. <laughs> right, and actually, just and I may try it soon. One of my friends, she did a no phone weekend, and she says she felt so free and liberated, um, and it was really like a detox for her. Mm-hmm. Um, she just didn't want to feel bothered. There was nothing like going on in her life, um, but she just wanted to kind of like detach, like you said. I'm gonna try it one day. Um, hopefully, I'll get in trouble from work. Um, or anything <laughs> like that. So we'll see how that goes. 
you know what's crazy? I'll tell you.